Capricorns, my amazing, beautiful, awesome, sexy ass Capricorns. So I was just, uh, thank you, Apple user who just said and a thing. Anyways, check this out. I sat down to meditate right now. This is the whole page of channeling I just got. So let's jump right on in here, okay? Capricorn, new love and abundance is coming to you. I know the past was difficult and we learned many lessons, new things, and truths about ourselves and most importantly, other people and or the people who surrounded us and the people we thought were our friends and surrounded ourselves with. But we have always been our best friends and our guides, our spirit guides, are our truest, best selves and friends. These past people, narcissists, who used you and triangul triangulated you, all without your knowledge nor consent, all without your knowledge until now, and I'm adding this right now, nor with your consent, your brother, dot, 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 brother from another mother, which I'm assuming is a friend, and a sister from another mister, I'm guessing the same people we surrounded ourselves with. You've wanted to hate them, but you, Capricorn, are true love. Even if we are the devil in the tarot deck, no worries, we all have villainous energy, but we are truly, truly the mighty morphant power Capricorns of love, loyalty, discipline, and focus. All is well, my friends. Wow. Wow. And it's so funny when I'm writing this, I don't even know sometimes. And if you can tell, I have to like slow myself down. Look at my handwriting, right? Granted, I don't have the best handwriting, but when it starts taking over, like I'm hearing it and it's, it, it goes a little too fast sometimes when I write it. So one thing I'm learning, and I think maybe many of us are learning this Capricorn, slow things down a little bit, right? We don't always got to rush it. Um, if you're anything like me, and you're devil focused, and I'm gonna say that. Let's talk about that. When you hear that word, how many of you get scared? Raise your hand. Why? It's an energy. Yes, Lucifer is real. Why would they make that even in the tarot deck? What's that? Ooh. We need to turn the music off for this. And this is what I'm hearing. God didn't cast us out. Lucifer. No. Appointed us positions. And it's not evil or toxic energy. It's, it's heavy energy. It's, it's dense energy. It's earth energy. What humans do with it, what we do with it, it, it is our choice. But it's also something we chose millennia ago to do. I'm not perfect and neither, neither are you. And that's okay, Capricorn. That is a-okay. But knowing that we do make the better choice, we know ourselves, we love ourselves. We don't hate. We actually don't like that part of ourselves, do we? That villainous energy. But when we get, when we hear those people and they, they did what to me? They triangulated me. If you don't know what that is, meaning they did it to you as well. They would bring people's names up, right? That you never met. Oh, this is someone I work with. A lot of times it was your friends, that brother from another mother, that sister from another mister, right? And you were like, wait a minute, how, how do you know them? Did you meet them? Maybe you were a little excited going, oh my good, I didn't know you knew them. They didn't know them. They were trying to triangulate you. That's what that is. They'll even say things about like someone on a plane. I don't know why I'm saying this. I think I saw it once, but like I met this person on the plane and they were so nice and loving and or something. That's very specific for somebody. That's going to resonate like crazy. And you want to get mad and you, trust me, they're getting their due. It's coming to them. We don't have to be angry. We shouldn't even have to have put up with that. We're loving. I get it. You all are a lot like me where, where people would say things and you're just like, okay, and just move on, right? But it comes back around later like, oh, that person was trying to F with me, like big time. It's, it, let's do it. It's very different. 
ignoring someone and not letting it bother you, and also standing up for yourself. Truly knowing ourselves and knowing who is for you and why. I know it's hard to recollect or understand that sometimes people come into our lives to teach us these things. Well, why didn't we just have the, the hunky-dory uh, kittens and rainbows? A storm. Rainbows don't form without the storm and the rain and the clouds. What is that song I'm hearing? Not the itsy-bitsy it's spider, but what? The, the rain washes away the clouds, and then what happens? The rainbow, the sunshine, the love. That's where you're always at, Capricorn. That's who we always are. But we're not afraid to dance in the rain. And now I'm getting, hey, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, 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 not making fun of it. I literally am remembering a past life, which by the way, time exists all at once. It's like in layers. I'm just, I'm tapping into that part of me as well. We love the rain. The rain brings uh, fertility to the earth, to us as well. Someone needs to drink more water. Maybe me, because I'm having so much coffee. You're not afraid to weather the storm either. I'm getting too that you are like Storm, like from Marvel's X-Men, right? You're in the center of the storm. You control the weather. And no matter, no matter, Capricorn, if it's a hailstorm coming down, right, biblical style, you know you are A-OK, -okay, 100%, numero uno. I want to jump into some cards here. I don't even think we need to. Let me turn this down a little bit more. But <clears throat> so I want to talk more about love with you all. What's this new love coming in? But there's something about your abilities I think let's do it. I'm going to do maybe one or two uh, comic book baseball cards here real quick. What exactly? Let's do this. Nope, right off the top. Okay. Thanos. Okay, Thanos. Let's talk about this Capricorn. Who here wants ultimate power? Who here is thinking they're doing the right thing? I'm not thinking it's you watching Capricorn. I think it's, the, again, I think this is the, uh, not thinking, I know. It's these past people. They wanted power, they wanted control, they wanted to man manipulate, right? They wanted to collect all the stones to what? Oh, let's try this hand. I can snap with that finger. Thinking they were doing the right thing. And they weren't, they knew exactly what they were doing, Capricorn. They knew exactly what they were doing. But know who you are? Thor. What do we just talk about with the thunder and lightning and the storm? The God of thunder, right? Again, I always say, I don't need these cards, just like you. Someone here is very psychic. I'm going to say it in every reading. You're very psychic. If you're watching this, your guides are talking to my guides, and my guides are talking to me, or we all have the same guides, okay? You are a god, my friend. You are a god. Don't ever forget that. I'm hearing right now from Ghostbusters. I know you guys feel a little weird about that. Take it in, in, in a church form, and I'll say it like that. We are made in the divine's image. This physical form isn't that image, is it? What do you think all the gods, what do you think Jesus was trying to tell us? You can do this as well. Peter walked on water as well, right? Here's a little secret from what I've heard from, uh, from all the guides. Everyone got out of that boat and walked to the shore with Jesus. True story. True story, okay? You are really tapping in. Whew! This is a part of us as well. We were angry. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. We were angry, weren't we? We wanted that power. We wanted to, who that villainous energy, right? You could say devil energy. We're starting off here. This is also a confirmation that we're Capricorns. Wouldn't this be like in, in Marvel? One of them probably. I think, meta, yeah. But we know who we are. We've had insecurities. We've had fear. We put our faith in a hammer or, or in the cards or in a drug or in something else, right? Put the faith in ourselves. Those other things didn't make us worthy. We, we know our worth. And we know we want to help. We want to protect Midgard, right? We want to help. That's what we are as Capricorns. We're protectors. Think of all the great Capricorns. Muhammad Ali, right? Benjamin Franklin, Jim Carrey. 
I'm hearing Al Capone, but he definitely jumped into his own power, Al Capone. Uh, uh, again, that villainous energy. Capricorn, there's, I know, someone's watching, they know exactly who I'm talking about right there. It's all right, it's all right. 10, 10 on the clock. Oh my God. I just said 10, 10 on the clock and then boom, look, 10, 10. And yes, what's that? Something different with this card. Another, believe in your magic. You don't have to hurt people. More devil energy right here. This is, uh, man, what's this guy's name from the Power Rangers? Help me out. Put that in the comments, y'all. And yeah, I have, I have Power Ranger cards. That's how we're, we're doing this. So we have, we have a lot of energy on here. And I get it. Again, we were talking about the being a, being a devil. Isn't Lucifer also an archangel? Which side? You've already chosen right. You choose love, right? And yes, of course, we have this anger. We have this anger. That's not who we are. And I love the 1010 right there. Look up angel number 1010, y'all. Put that in the comments for me. Look at all the green in the background here, too. That's your heart chakra opening. Spades, communication. Whew, someone's, you got, um, okay, you're going to want to yell. You're going to want to yell. By the way, Archangel's the next card right here. You're going to want to yell at these people. And I'm getting that with, with the spades. Choose your words wisely. Don't worry. The angels are here. Yes, we understand. And remember, this Archangel, this storyline, this guy, right? He had feathered wings and then apocalypse came in who was a god right egyptian many of you have past egyptian lives but he found his way found his way again he ascended just like you capricorn that's why we're so good at this we're so great at what we do because we're not afraid of stepping in this darker energy this heavier energy and then just just expelling it and transmuting it but your angels and your guides you are an angel you are a guide to others and you are helping them. Spades also, I gotta say this, uh, is a swinger symbol as well. So if you ever meet someone and they have a, a spades tattoo and a heart tattoo, or they have it in card form or something, why am I getting a forearm? Uh, that's a swinger symbol or sex cult symbol. Uh, they're gonna wanna tell you they play poker and maybe they do, but it's not that. That's not why they got it that. And it's on women. I'm seeing it on women. Uh, men don't get these tattoos, but I'm seeing it on women. And it means something that they love big black cocks. I'm not even kidding. Go to Urban Dictionary or Google it. You're going to see what I mean. They love dating white men, but there's a whole group sex. What is going on here, y'all? Nothing wrong with sex. We'll get into that, but talking a little more of that devil energy. And I also like to tell everyone that because I was in, I was triangulated just like that. And they had those tattoos and there was, everyone was silent around me. Oh my goodness, this is for you all, not just for me. This is for you all. Um, many of you are going to find out the people you were dating or you were with. Uh, it's funny because you're the Capricorn, right? Uh, you're the loyal one, actually. The very loyal one. And granted, we got our moments, don't we? I get it. I get it. You got your moments. But when it comes to the 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 grander scale and not to judge everyone else, you're fucking amazing, Capricorn. You're helping people. But they they all knew, and this is a storyline I've gotten before with, uh, maybe you want to watch the Pisces and Leo reading. They all knew what they were doing around you. And it was your, you were getting the sense, right? The psychic senses of like, what's going on right now? What's going on? I'm getting to these other people. Wow, my, I'm getting warmth on my leg right now, like heat, like someone's touching my leg. That's great. Thank you. They want, they, tr they couldn't pick up the hammer is what I'm getting. Only you could, Capricorn. Only you could pick up the hammer. And speaking of a uh, sex card, here we have a, I can't show it. I have to like cover this up. We have a hustler card right here for y'all, okay? I wasn't even planning on pulling these cards. Her name is Tanya. Look up the spiritual uh, meaning of the name Tanya. I'm getting two stories here. These other people, no, 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 this is you. You were the star. You are the star. You have the short hair. You do things so differently than everyone. They wanted to try to chip away at you. 
and these other folks, you're very patriotic as well, but I feel these other folks really thrive. Maybe they were the military or police, but they thrive like, oh, I'm really right-winged or patriotic. But really they were, and not disgusting because this card is beautiful, but really they were underneath it all. They weren't, they weren't that at all. And I'm getting, they were hustlers. Meaning they, they, again, I usually like the word hustle because, you know, get you going, get moving. But no, they were like dirty hustlers, like trying to, maybe sexually, but in your life, they were trying to, trying to siphon your energy and belittle you, Capricorn. Oh my goodness, she's, I can't show you this. Maybe I can, let me see. She's bending over here, right? It's like they wanted to bend you over. But again, you're so amazing, Capricorn. Who's from Stockholm? Someone from England, I think Stockholm. I don't know if that's a place in the United States. You're very 80s as well. You have this great 80s vibe, like you're just fun. When you let it all hang out, you are just, you shine so bright. And the things, they wanted to force it, but you didn't let it. You you do you. Oh man, I scratched my forehead here. You do you, right? And you just bend it over. Um, not for them. You're moving into a new phase, of, I want to say, of sexuality, of love as well, of loving yourself. And it's not toxic. It's not devil energy. Many of you are going to be afraid. Even I'm feeling it right now. Of, of what I'm saying because you're confusing it with lust and it's not lust at all. Oh, it's so different from lust. You're moving into a whole new age of loving yourself in many different ways. Physically, mm, barely keep my hands off myself. But also knowing the boundaries and knowing the right people to bring into your life. The right people, the new people are coming in very quickly, very quickly. I'm seeing Thor's hammer over here being thrown at you. I want to pull just, let me, let me shuffle these. These are my sex fortune cards. I didn't know this is where we were going right here, Capricorn. This is great. Who doesn't love a little sexy reading? Come on now. Let me shuffle this one more time. And I'm just going to split the deck. You got to trust it sometimes, y'all. You got to trust it. Beautiful. Right here, the chariot. Okay. Moving forward. What did we just say about moving forward, moving beyond this past energy, this devil energy that was all around you? And yes, you have villainous energy as well, but you're not them. Some of you watching, you know you are them. Yes, I will say that. And you know what you've done. Don't feel guilty. Sit, meditate, purge it, talk about it, get it out there. You're going to feel better about it. Because compared to these other people, compared to, and this is a weird, con, not a contest, but trust me, you you are a fucking saint compared to that. You already know. But you are so moving forward, and it's love. And look at all this yellow. Look at all that solar plex energy. Look at all that confidence. Ooh, I'm getting some heat on my left, left leg right over here. Thank you. Could be some devil energy right there. I'm thinking right now, how many of you watch those ghost uh, uh, shows, right? And I don't like saying ghosts, I say spirits. But they, they always say, I feel heat. And they scratched me. They also asked for it before they went in, right? And like, I was attacked. No. We, mm, they're not attachments. What are they? We're releasing so much, especially when we do readings, when we're meditating. The heat on my leg is part of it. And also, oh shit. Hold on. I forgot I was wearing these pants, these shorts, Superman. That's who we are. Does anyone know Kal-El's birthday? Maybe he's a Capricorn. You're the hero. Our galactic beings, our friends, they're all here with us. You're a Kryptonian. Wow. Move forward with love. Yes, I know these cards look like lust, but it's not that at all. You're not lusting over. You've gone through a whole different journey now. You are so comfortable with yourself. That insecurity, yes, eh, you feel a little bit of it, but not like it was, and it's going away. You are moving forward with confidence and love. The castle, very phallic symbol over here. You don't need to hide in that castle anymore in those towers. 
it's time to come out and play. And I'm hearing, if you've ever seen the old school 1980s movie, uh, talk about, I don't want to say that's devil energy, this is a great actor, but he's like, warriors, come out and play, right? No one's taunting you. That's that's it right there. They're gonna, those folks wanted, they still want to try to taunt you. You're out there playing, but they can't, they can't even enter your game. You're on a whole new level of game right now. And I, whether that means like socially or just in life and, and you're playing this great game, not a contest. You're just doing you. You're just the star, Capricorn. And you're just you're just oh man, you're moving on, not even moving on, like beyond all of them. You're shining so bright, like they 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 can't even look at you, Capricorn. That's some devil energy. Lucifer, that name means one in who is the light or the star. What an interesting read today, y'all. Let me know in the comments, please. I love it. I love it. Thank you all so much. I'm going to leave it right there. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.